Okay, um, hi everyone. So today we're going to learn a new chapter, chapter 7, Ionic Equilibrium. Okay, uh, and then we're going to learn in 7.1, acid and bases. There's actually, berapa ni? E until L. There's actually lots of your learning outcome. But for today, what we're going to learn is actually, um, what we're going to learn now is actually define acid and base according to the Arrhenius and Bronsted Lowry theories. So, we know it's actually acid and base. So, then kita tahu example lah. Acid, for example, lemon, apa lagi? HCL kan? If uh, the solution. So, kalau base, kita tahu uh, the example dia adalah apa? Our soap and then we know it's sodium hydroxide. But now, we're going to learn into detail ataupun tengok based on the theories. So, first, we're going to look at the Arrhenius theory. So, Arrhenius theory cakap for the acid, is actually it's a species that dissociates in aqueous solution to produce H plus ions or H3O plus ions. So, why dia kata kat sini ada or to? Because, as we can see here, HCl ni akan dissociate untuk form H plus dengan Cl minus. Okay, and then, ataupun the same HCl, okay, the same HCl, dia dissociate in water, dia akan form H3O plus and Cl minus. So, apa beza H plus dengan H3O plus ni? H plus ni kalau the acid dissociate by itself lah. H3O plus ni kalau we add in our water. So, sebab tu lah definition of acid, kita boleh terima untuk yang H plus, H3, kalau ada H3O plus ataupun ada H plus, dia dissociate to produce H plus and H3O plus. Okay, how about the base pula? Okay, uh, Arrhenius theory kita tahu that uh, base is a species that dissociate in aqueous solution to produce OH minus ions. Okay, so as you can see, uh, sodium hydroxide akan dissociate to form Na plus dengan, oops, Na plus hmm. dengan OH minus ion. Okay, okay. Uh, so, kat sini lah kita tahu. But then, not all the bases, dia bukannya, contohnya, our ammonia. So, ammonia kita ni is actually a base. Tapi, macam mana nak produce? But we know kalau dissociate, uh, bukannya kita nampak dia produce OH- ions kan? So, there's another theory that we're gonna took uh, into account untuk define our acid and base. Okay, another one that we're going to learn is our bronsted lowry theories. Okay. So, kalau untuk acid, is actually, okay, acid tu is a species that donates a proton to another substance. Okay, once they dah donate proton tu, akan a new species is formed, we call it as conjugate base. Okay. Itu adalah untuk acid, tapi macam mana pula kalau base, base ni akan accept a proton accept a proton from another substance and then when a base accepts a proton, kita akan form conjugate acid pula. Conjugate acid, uh, acid is form. So, what does it mean by that? So, kita tengoklah. Kita ada tiga equation di sini. So, kita akan label acid, base, conjugate acid, conjugate base. So, first thing first, what I'm going to do adalah misalkan akan labelkan one by one lah. Uh, I'm just going to pair up. So, HCl ni, misalkan pairkan. Okay, pasangan dia adalah HCl here adalah dengan Cl minus. Okay, H2O ni dengan H3O plus. So, kita tengok. HCl ni, this is the rectum kan. So, dia akan form Cl minus. So, maksud dia, what happen is actually, it's donate. Dia sudah donate dia punya proton. So, sebab tu dapat Cl minus. So, when they donate, uh, proton so it means that this is our acid and then our Cl minus is what we call conjugate base ok lagi pun sebab kita tahu kan kalau HCl memang produce jadi H plus dengan Cl minus tapi there's another way of uh, determining ataupun kita identify dia sebagai acid so kita tengok macam ni lah ok so kalau acid ni sila react dengan base ataupun another way of seeing it Kita tengok H2O. Dia jadi H2O plus. So, apa yang berubah is actually dia ada tambah lagi satu H lagi. Sebab so, the H2 jadi H3O plus kan. So, it means that it accept a proton. So, it is actually a base. Okay, so bila dah accept dah proton tu, we call it as conjugate 
acid Okay so kita tengok pula The next example is our ammonia Dengan HCl Okay so kita buat kita punya yang pasangan tu kan So we have our ammonia Dengan NH4 plus Our hydrogen chloride ni Dengan Cl minus Okay so our ammonia Kita tengok our NH3 Dia jadi NH4 plus So it means that Dia sudah accept Dia kan donate sebab kalau donate Maksudnya H2 kurang But here H dia bertambah So it means that it accept a proton So when it accept a proton It's a base And here is my conjugate acid So means to tulis sini je dah But you have to label it conjugate Means dia boleh tulis C dot ni Okay so HCl So it means that our HCl is our acid And this is our conjugate base And another way of saying it kita tengok HCl jadi Cl minus. So, dia sudah donate one of the H. Okay, so. Okay, sekarang ni, okay. Kalau yang first yang first example ni, kita boleh tahu senang sebenarnya HCl ni kita nampak acid kan. Uh, sini pun kita nampak tahu HCl ni acid. But yang N2H4 dengan H2O ni, uh, macam kita nak determine acid and base. So, that's why like untuk means it's actually easier for you to actually pair up the species and then From there, you can determine the acid and base. So, N2H1 ni dengan N2H5 plus H2O dengan apa ni? H2O dengan our OH minus. So, as you can see, N2H4 dia akan form N2H5 plus. So, it means that dia sudah bertambah uh, dia sudah ni increase in hydrogen. So, it means that it uh, accept a proton. So, bila dia accept, dia adalah base. Here is my Conjugate acid And then H2O Is actually our acid And our OH minus is conjugate base Okay so Bila kamu tengok dekat sini uh, H2O ni dekat sini the first equation Is a base tapi the sec Yang the third equation ni is actually An acid so sebab tu lah dekat Tepi tu ada notes tu Bagi tahu that um, Water can act As acid And base So dia tak semestinya acid Dia sebenarnya boleh jadi dua-dua lah Sebab From the equation itself We have uh, We have Okay H2O Dia akan dissociate Jadi H plus Dengan OH minus ion Okay Based on the Arrhenius theory Kalau yang produce H plus ion ni Kita cakap Kita punya Acid Kalau yang produce Dissociate To produce OH minus ni Adalah our Base. So that's why lah H2O can act as acid and base. Okay. So after that, uh, you should try yourself example 1 until 6. Determine which one the acid. Tengok ni soalan dia. Label the acid base conjugate acid dengan conjugate base. So uh, the easier way adalah kamu pair up kan lah and then determine it. What is the acid base conjugate acid conjugate base?